you waste you waste your money they are wasting your money if you're one of those who feel like kodik sand soap should be banned i feel you if you're one of those who feels this is a miracle worker wow um okay i'm not gonna judge your journey should this soap be banned yes or no let me know down in the comment section should this soap be taken out completely from the skincare industry let me know what you think down in the comment section hello hey guys oh my god if you're watching me for the first time this year happy new year hope this year has been kind and good to you so far welcome to my channel my name is Mona. let's just hop into today's video we're talking about a very controversial skincare product it's no other than the kodik san soap now this is the latest one i just ordered kodik san soap what's up like why you why you give causing so much controversial you know issues questions around the skincare industry i'll tell you guys why so keep watching first things first let's get into what does it contain now the name of this soap again is codex sun right written on the pack here is um, skin lightening soap classic for a lighter and even toned skin zero pigment light um at the back it has a summary of um skincare soap uses high grade kojic acid it has zero pigment light that targets dark spots and uneven skin tone the major ingredient to find in the soap the major ingredient to find in this soap is the kojic acid the vitamin c glycerin vegetable extract sweet orange and vco that's the major ingredient you find in this soap i got this soap for three thousand nine hundred this is a, is a deal like it's a twin soap like twin in, in, let me show you i'm going to unbox it so you guys can see i ordered this last month which was december now um i reviewed this soap and actually got like a the bigger size this is a smaller one this i comes in in this package this is it comes in this pack i just hope it's not fake because there's a lot of fake of this of this product that's a problem that's why it's causing so much problem buy fake and it tends to not work so for me personally like me 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 i'm going to share my experience using this soap this is a new pack as you can see but i've got i got a previous soap like i said earlier and i used everything like it's um i'm going to start a picture i did a reel with that soap and I showed even showed how you can cut it, save, blah blah blah. There's a bigger size to this. And what does it feel like? Hmm. I from I've used it, so I can tell you. I think it has it has a very nice texture. Um, once you leather it out, it also smells nice. It smells like papaya. For me, it kind of the smell is not everybody's hyping the you know the smell. I love the fragrance, don't get me wrong, but most times it comes off harsh. There's just this undertone, this chemical undertone scent. He has a very, the scent, lovely. That harsh chem chemical thing might be me. It's not, I won't call it chemical, it just has a strong undertone. It's like, it's hidden, but I perceive it, you know. But it's not, it's not something that would irritate you or stop you from using the product or anything. It's not that bad. It's just what I noticed because I'm here to give my experience, so... Or share my experience i'm going to be very very honest with you guys i think the major thing um kodik san says it does is not really lighting exfoliates gets rid of dark spots discoloration hyperpigmentation why i used it personally was to tackle hyperpigmentation i'm going to show you a picture of what i looked like before so if some of you know this or if you don't know because most people might watch me for the first time i gave birth it's been a year and i suffered hyperpigmentation like i suffered it so um i think around six months or seven months that was when i started using the soap and it did speed up my um it did help me tone out some part of my body but that was not the only thing that worked but it did work i'm not going to lie like two weeks i was seeing results i'm not i've not gotten the part where i'm supposed to share my thoughts but i just wanted to point it out here that yes it lightened it did lighten my skin yes it exfoliated my skin for sure and yes, it's helped with discoloration. So I want to give Kodik Sand Soap a 9 over 10 in actually like executing what it said it was going to do. It did it. It did it. It did it. It did it for me. Now the next thing is how to use. How did I use this soap? So for me, how I used this soap was, how I used it for the past three months or so, was I used it to have my bath in the morning. I used it only in the morning 
oh no i used it in the morning at first and then later i switched to nine because i got a body wash that i also review in this channel so ensure to subscribe honestly people will be like don't use it on your face it's too harsh on your face and everything is true it's actually too harsh on my face but like i said i went through i got this product because i went through hyperpigmentation from pregnancy and that was part of like my forehead was affected my neck my armpit my tummy my tie so i had to go ahead and use it on my forehead alone so that's the thing i used it on my forehead alone then afterward i went in with my wash and then you know my face wash and i washed everything all together so i used it for my face for my forehead for the first one month and i stopped and just focused on my body because just one month i saw huge results so i just focused on my neck and my ties and every part of my body so i used the soap so after the first month i started using it for my whole body but not my face I don't know if you understand so how i used it on my face was or my body was i didn't max it i didn't leave it for 10 minutes i didn't leave it for like people say leave it for five minutes max it for i didn't, I didn't do all that you can go ahead and do that if you're really suffering from intense pigmentation like intense discoloration or hyperpigmentation you might go ahead and max it leave it for two minutes and wash off right but don't say i told you that don't say it's my mouth don't say Mona said mm -mm. you want to go ahead and do it do it but me you this is how I used it and this is how it worked for me. I did not max it. I just used it on my body and which is what I'm currently doing. So the advice I got was don't use a Kodiksan soap. I don't use it more than three months. So after now, I'm going to take a break for a while. Then maybe start using it again later or I would use it every other day just at night. So after three months, you might want to reduce the usage of the soap because so it doesn't really, really bleach you or tone out your skin in ways you might not like so once it's three months pause talk about the result i did see huge result massive result on my forehead i used to suffer from hyperpigmentation if i would check my previous video on this channel you'll see the difference like on my neck area as well i was able to see some good amount of results even if i'm still still you know hoping for a huge like toned out area but again pregnancy leaves you some kind of you know permanent what's it called max if that makes sense but it worked it worked perfectly well it turned out my skin i got one shade lighter than i used to and it just evened out my skin I, I really love the result i got and this result i got from just using it for two weeks three weeks one month i will see result my forehead i used i used um, the product for my, for my forehead for just one week sorry for two weeks i used the product on my forehead for a month and i saw result on my neck i saw result as you can see i will show you before so you can you can you know do the math the pros i've listed it lightened my skin exfoliated my skin um helped with my heart pigmentation you know it worked but the cons to this or to the product is number one it does not last if you are not wise enough to like like use it right way you waste you waste your money how to save your money while using the soap is cut it like this would go like into six and use them in cubes like you know ice cubes cut the soap in ice cubes form and use that instead like use it you don't have to waste the soap the soap goes just a tiny amount just a scrub like once you put your sponge on it like this you can use it for your face your body like it goes round that's what i love about the soap so it's just so you to learn how to maximize the use so that you get the value of your money another thing is someone who has an oily skin will enjoy this soup like mm, um someone who has a, a a dry skin might not like it because it may make you extra dry someone has a normal skin or a combination skin might not really like it because again it leaves you dried out so the advice to this or what i found out or the tweak to this is immediately after i come out from the shower i just go in with my skincare my toner my moisturizer ensure your moisturizer is extremely moisturizing because you need that to help you um cover up all the soap drying out and taking out those natural oils your body needs now let me share some tips to you guys number one is ensure to use a good moisturizer after using this product be sure to not scrub your face or body after using this product because it exfoliates your skin so scrubbing your face again would 
mean that you're over exfoliating your skin if you have a scented skin leave codixan alone to save your money ensure to cut the soap in pieces if you apply all these things i've mentioned in this video i'm sure you get a good result from your product Let's answer three or four frequently asked questions that most people want to ask so drop down the comment section so instead of you dropping it down i'll answer it here for you is does it lighten yes the answer is it lightens your skin to a moderate extent that's why i say don't use ex don't exceed three months of constant usage except you use it like once every other day you can stretch it out to like six months or so but if you use it consistently morning and night morning and night then don't even, don't go more than three months because then you're trying to let your skin you're trying to you want it to do more than just lighten your skin then it might end up bleaching your skin and that's not what we the question i got is how to get or where do you get the original from how to like how to know the fake from the original even codexan company cannot tell you how to know the fake from the original but once you buy any one that works for your skin ensure to stick to that particular brand or whoever that sells to that product so you stick to that person and be consistent to that person now if you want me to share with you guys where i got mine let me know down in the comment section i would drop her instagram handle right there the question that says does it contain hydroquin Codexan does not or do not contain hydroquin, so you are safe. And that brings me to the end of this video. Please note that this video is not to sponsor or to encourage you to bleach your skin. I'm just sharing my experience with these products and how it worked for me, right? It might work for you or it might not work for you. I'm not guaranteeing the fact that it would work for you. Codexan did not sponsor this video. This is my personal review I'm sharing with you guys, right? And that's on that. It worked for me and that's why I had to repurchase another pack just from personal experience and nothing if you have used codexan soap and it worked for you let me know if it did not work for you let me know down in the comment section I hope you enjoyed watching hope you guys had fun just watching me talk to you if you did let me know down in the comment section also if you haven't subscribed yet ensure to subscribe to my channel recommend this video to your loved ones friends family not follow me on instagram you should do that at the real nick mona drop a link down in the description box and ensure you're following me on there see you guys in my next video bye for now Mwah. bye